On behalf of the Barton Community College administration, staff, and faculty, to each and every one of you, I extend a warm welcome to our lovely campus. I would offer the Assembly's collective thanks to the Army National Guard of Great Bend for the presentation of the colors, and to Barton's own Hilltop Singers under the direction of Dr. Eric Foley for the performance of our national anthem. Those of us who are blessed to work for Barton know that there are many wonderful moments and days throughout any given academic year. But I can assure you that graduation is the very best day on a college campus as we celebrate both past accomplishments and future promise. Today embodies all that this college community has worked toward over these past many weeks, months, and years. This evening is the opportunity to pause and honor the accomplishments of faculty, staff, community, and most of all, our students. We are so grateful that you've chosen to join with us on this special occasion. In the past several weeks, one of the newest members of the Student Services Division, recognizing that graduation was fast approaching and perhaps a bit melancholy, about seeing our graduates prepare to leave Barton, started saying some things like, some of these students who we've gotten to know and that we've worked with and seen day after day are leaving soon. What's that like? What are we going to do? I'm not certain that I've actually responded to any of these comments or questions, but I've been here a long time and I know the answer. We're gonna let them go. We're going to be grateful that our paths have crossed. We're going to recognize and celebrate the impact that they are leaving on us and on Barton. We're going to hope that our investment in them, the seeds that we have planted, if you will, will take root and grow and make the world a better place wherever they land. We're going to tell them that we will be cheering for them from right here in central Kansas. We're going to wish them not goodbye, but farewell, and we're going to let them go. But first, we're gonna celebrate them. This evening, we are given the opportunity to come together to celebrate students who, regardless of the various challenges, struggles, maybe even losses that they have sustained, Students who have stayed the course and accomplished their educational goals. Some of these students will continue on to work toward additional degrees and certifications. Some will enter or re-enter the workforce. But tonight, we very appropriately pause and seize the opportunity to recognize success. What a blessing to be here tonight together to celebrate them. We could not be more proud to share these accomplishments with you, and we could not be more humbled that you would join with us in the recognition. We are grateful to have with us this evening Pastor Tanya Andrews from Peace Church in Hudson, Kansas. Pastor Andrews will offer this evening's invocation and later our benediction. 
We will remain standing for the invocation and we would request that gentlemen in, the, in attendance remove their hats. Hester Andrews. What a, what a blessing and, awe, and honor it is to be here this evening. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for allowing us to come together to celebrate these graduates, their tenacity, their determination. They are driven, Father, and we thank you so much for the gifts that you've given them to get to this point and that you will be with them moving forward. We ask that you be with us this evening. You just, just please rain down your blessings of mercy and grace. We know where two or more are gathered, there you are in the midst, Father. We ask that you be with us this evening. We thank you for your love and mercy and grace for all of the graduates this year. Father, we thank you so much for being with us as we go through this ceremony. In the name of Jesus, amen. You may be seated. And thank you, Pastor Andrews. Before we move on, just a bit of housekeeping. Following the ceremony, the stage area, and really the whole gym, will be available for your personal photos. However, professional photos have been taken and will be taken throughout this evening by Barton's communication department and will be available next week on the Barton website. We have been keeping an eye on the sky for all of you tonight, and unlike the last few days, quite fortunately, our at times spirited central Kansas weather appears to be pleasant and well behaved this evening. Should there be identified any need to alert you to a weather situation, we have prepared for that and we will um, instruct you accordingly. Now to proceed with the recognitions and the honors. At this time, I would invite Dr. Carl Heilman, who serves as the fifth president of Barton Community College to offer his greetings and his comments. President Heilman. Thank you, Vice President Maddie. What a joyous, joyous evening. And yes, celebrate. That is the key for tonight. Embrace. Thank you, Pastor Andrews, graduates, family, and friends. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, faculty, and staff, I welcome each of you to Barton Community College's 53rd annual graduation celebration. A celebration where we recognize the success of each of the students who will soon be graduates of Barton County College. These graduates will be joining thousands of graduates who have proceeded and have gone on to their paths of success. Each of these fine students before us has their own Barton story, learning success and self-betterment. Barton is a community college of diversity where each individual is unique according to their needs, goals, and achieving their objectives with the support of caring family, members, and loved ones. Today we celebrate that these students have accepted the opportunity to be Barton driven. While it was the discipline and desire of each of these students that kept them on the path to graduation, it was the assistance and support of the faculty and staff that led these students to this day. So as we applaud the achievements of our graduates, we also recognize the role of faculty and staff. As leader of this college, I am extremely blessed to work with outstanding colleagues who embrace and are committed to the success of all Barton students that they serve. My sincere thanks to the faculty and staff who are before us today. I ask that faculty and staff please stand and be recognized for the great work that you put forward. Thank you. Please rise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I could do that every day. Also, individuals who have been long serving to the college, faculty and staff, I'd like to publicly recognize and thank them for their dedicated service. If you're in attendance, please stand. Kenneth Henderson, 41 years. 
Kenneth, are you here? Virginia Fulbright, 27 years. Virginia? Randall Allen, 35 years. Kathy Oshiro, 35 years. I know this person's here. Karen Kratzer, 28 years. Point five years. <laughs> Carol White, 19 years. Carol, thank you. <laughs> Bill Forst, 23 years. <laughs> I, I hope you noted the years of longevity. That means we're doing something we really like to do, and that's serving you. That's our commitment. Finally, no community college graduation celebration would be complete without thanking the family and friends who are here. You are to be congratulated for your love, support, and sacrifice. We thank you for partnering with us and supporting Barton. At this time, I'd like to recognize six exceptional leaders that are involved in moving Barton into the future. These leaders represent the Board of Trustees for Barton Community College, and they represent the people of Barton County and the governance of the college. I would ask that you hold your applause until all have been introduced and are standing. Mr. Mike Johnson, Board Chair, Kansas Associates of Community College Delegate, 24 years going on 25. Mr. Gary Burke, Vice Chair, eight going on nine years. Mr. John Mosier, Secretary, 18 years. Mr. Don Larned, who is not here today, but is to be recognized for his service, long service to the college, 19 years. Cole Schwartz, going on three years. And Mr. Carl Helm, going on two years. Please join me in recognizing these dedicated <laughs> leaders. and Vice President Maddie to the podium. Keep that away from me. Uh, Dr. Howman trying to take our whole order of show here. I don't know, it's like he thinks he's the president or something. Just to give me a minute. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Howman. During commencement, in addition to recognizing the collective accomplishments of our graduates, we also take the opportunity to recognize outstanding individual achievements and contributions, and we begin that now. You'll note many of our graduates wear cords, stoles, and other symbols designating special recognitions, accomplishments, or participation. Your commencement program provides information about the significance of the various colors and forms of regalia. Graduates completing degrees and receiving honors or highest honors will be announced as such as they are presented individually later in our ceremony. We would also note that many graduates display special stickers denoting first gen, meaning first generation. In the world of higher education, this means that these graduates come from families in which no parent or primary care caregiver had earned a four-year college degree thus making their completion of these credentials this evening all that more momentous for their family. Additionally, I would like to note that three of our Barton colleagues are earning certificates or degrees this evening as well. We celebrate their accomplishments and recognize that Barton as a whole is better for their individual achievements. Congratulations to Barton colleagues James Chestnut, Angie Jones, and Shelley Schmidt. Before moving on to the announcement of our outstanding graduate awards, I'd like to take a moment to recognize two graduates with us this evening who earned recognition earlier this spring semester through Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society for two-year colleges. 
Would Joshua Ball and Charlie Seifert please stand? Joshua and Charlie were recognized in April as members of the Phi Theta Kappa All Kansas academic team. Phi Theta Kappa chapters from each community college in Kansas are able to select two All Kansas academic team award winners through an anonymous review of qualified applicants. Congratulations to both of you. Next, it is my honor to present the 2023 Outstanding Graduate Awards. Each year, faculty, staff, students, and community members are asked to nominate students who they feel exemplify the qualities of an outstanding graduate. Three students are being honored as outstanding graduates from the Barton County campus this year. Please allow me to introduce each of our outstanding graduate award winners by sharing a bit of their bio and their nominator's comments with you. Ashton Ensley, is receiving his Associate in Science degree today. Ashton is from Great Bend and is the son of Trey Ensley of Great Bend and Don Richardson of Lawrence, Kansas. While attending Barton, Ashton was a member of the eSports team and holds a piece of three NJCAAE national championships. Ashton is one of the only three-time academic All-Americans in NJCAAE history. In addition to his eSports success, Ashton was a member of the Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society at Barton as well. Ashton plans to continue his education at the University of Kansas, where he will work toward his bachelor's degree in biology. Ashton's nominator, his eSports coach, Curtis Rose, said this about him. Ashton has been a pivotal part of the success that eSports has had at Barton, both in game and in the classroom. His leadership qualities are heightened every game day, and he is able to read his teammates to provide the perfect encouragement. He always does what is needed to get the most out of everyone around him. Coach Rose went on to say, in the classroom, Ashton is a model student averaging close to a 4.0 grade point average throughout his time at Barton. He takes time before and between matches to complete homework assignments or to study for tests, and he encourages his teammates to do the same. Ashton has also helped out with multiple community service projects, including helping with the Rocket League tournament, which was a joint venture between Barton and the Great Bend Recreation Commission. Coach Rose concluded his nomination by noting, the most endearing trait about Ashton is his humble nature. He is one to always reflect the spotlight onto others. He prefers to sit back quietly and let others glow over their accomplishments. And he allows his ego to be set aside to help others become better. Barton Community College 2023 Outstanding Graduate, Ashton Ensley. Kaden Smith is receiving her Associate in Arts degree today. Kaden is from Topeka, Kansas, and is the daughter of Courtney and Kai Smith of Topeka. During her Barton career, Kaden was a member of the softball team, participated in Christian Challenge, and served on the leadership board for community student organization SPARK. Kaden will transfer to Emporia State University and continue her education in the field of criminal justice. Hayden's long-term educational and career plans are to complete a master's degree and eventually work for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Hayden's nominator, her criminal justice instructor, Melissa Stevens, said this about her. Hayden is an excellent student and takes her studies very seriously. She prioritizes her time and energy very well, demonstrating conscientiousness in all of her endeavors. Most important about Hayden is her demeanor and her attitude. 
She possesses integrity beyond reproach, a thoughtfulness in her actions, critical thinking skills, and excellent decision-making ability. Instructor Stevens went on to say that in addition to maintaining her athletic schedule, Caden maintained both excellent grades and excellent attendance in her classes. She served as a volunteer in multiple capacities, including at a rescue mission in Topeka, at summer church camps, and by providing hitting lessons to young softball players. Instructor Stevens concluded by adding, I give Caden my highest recommendation for this award. Barton Community College 2023 Outstanding Graduate, Caden Smith. And last but not least, Keeley Wolf is receiving her Associate in Science degree today. Keeley is from Hoisington, Kansas, and is the daughter of Jamie Wolf of Great Ben and the late Shane Wolf. During her Barton career, Keeley was a member of the 2023 Region 6 Champion Women's Basketball Team and participated in the STEM Buddies program. Keeley will continue her education at Fort Hayes State University where she will work toward her bachelor's degree in elementary education. Her future career goals include becoming a kindergarten teacher and a basketball coach. Keeley's nominator, instructor Matt Cannell, said in his nomination, I have been consistently impressed with Keeley's dedication to her studies and her exceptional work ethic. She consistently goes above and beyond what is expected of her. Her attention to detail and critical thinking skills have allowed her to excel in her coursework. He went on to say, Keeley's achievements go beyond her academic performance. She is an empathetic and compassionate individual who cares deeply about the well-being of others. She has demonstrated an exceptional ability to listen and communicate effectively, and she embodies the qualities of a true leader. Instructor Cannell concluded his comments by saying, I have no doubt she will continue to excel in her future endeavors and she will make a positive impact on the world around her. Barton Community College 2023 Outstanding Graduate, Keeley Wolf. As we continue our special recognition of individual contribution and achievement, I invite Vice President of Instruction Elaine Simmons to come forward to recognize Barton's 2023 Distinguished Instructor Award recipients. Vice President Simmons. Good evening. Barton recognizes exceptional teaching with the Distinguished Instructor Award. The college's faculty council accepts nominations from employees and students and a screening committee reviews the nominations and makes the selections. Criteria for the award includes contributions to teaching and learning, alignment with the college's mission, and community service. This year, it is my honor to recognize five instructors for the Distinguished Instructor Award. Our first recipient is Kara Brower. Kara is a member of the Workforce Training and Community Education Division, serving as a nursing faculty member. Her nomination highlights Kara's willingness to develop the first online nursing course, her involvement with fellow faculty members as a mentor, and her work to help launch the Barton Associate Nursing Degree Program at Pratt Community College. Kara is the chairperson of Faculty Council, and she played a vital role in the Nurses Program's recent ASIN accreditation and has recently earned the Certified Nurse Educator criteria, or credential. Excuse me. One of Kara's students shared, she has been so supportive and encouraging. She is attentive, knowledgeable, never makes you feel inadequate, and will lift you when you are struggling. She has always made me and others feel like we can accomplish anything. Mrs. Brower is always calm and understanding to a situation. 
Kara has served with the college for 10 years. Please join me to recognize Kara Brower. Our next recipient is James Hill. James works with our team at Grandview Plaza and serves as a faculty member for the college's hazardous materials and occupational safety and health programs. His nomination highlights his number one concern, making sure students understand the material and that they have a successful learning experience. James consistently seeks opportunity for professional development to hone his skills and make himself the best that he can be. He understands the mission of the college and works tirelessly to support students and coworkers. One of James' students shared, he aids in answering all of the questions asked and has an understanding of that we are learning and shows patience. I have had teachers in the past that made you feel like your questions and your thoughts were not valid, but Mr. Hill makes you feel that all your questions and thoughts are a moldable learning experience. He gives kind words when we complete an assignment and that is very encouraging to a student. James has also served with the college for 10 years. Please join me to recognize James Hill. Our third recipient is Jason Murray. Jason is a member of the Workforce Training and Community Education Division, serving as a business faculty member, teaching for the college's Building Academic Skills in Correctional Settings program at Larned State Correctional Facility. As a member of the basics team, Jason is a passionate educator who sees and supports the value and importance of all individuals. One of Jason's students shared, I would say that the first thing that sticks out to me about Mr. Jason Murray is his professionalism and his commitment to what he is doing. You can feel that he believes it. Every Wednesday night, he drives to a correctional facility to teach a group of men that desire more from life. That in and of itself is amazing and inspiring. His relationship with God and faith allowed him to see what many would see as a failure or a waste of time and effort, yet it's his greatest accomplishment for his community. If we all poured as much love and effort into our own neighbors, like Jason Murray did for us at Larned Correctional, the world would be a lot brighter place. Jason has served with the college for two years. Please join me to recognize Jason Murray. Our next recipient is Sue Simmons. Sue is a member of the Fort Riley Academic Services Program. She serves as a faculty for the Civilian Leadership Development Program focused on the development of leadership skills for Department of Defense civilian employees. One of Sue's students shared, I took Sue Simmons' leadership and management seminars as part of Fort Riley CLDP, and I can tell you firsthand experience that she is uniquely an excellent instructor. She was a federal civilian like her students, so she is able to directly connect the concepts she teaches to the students' real-world experience. Nothing will ever match that level of credibility with students who have a federal background. Her stories make very effective vignettes to illustrate key concepts without identifying anyone or coming across gossipy. She teaches leadership not just by PowerPoint, but by example. She shows empathy, compassion, and a tremendous work ethic. She selects great speakers to come and add local voices to show practical application of the course content. Merriam-Webster includes to instruct by example or experience in its definition of teach. Sue has consistently demonstrated that definition in the classroom. Sue has served with the college for eight years. Please join me to recognize Sue Simmons.
our final recipient. This evening is Ronnie Wirtz. Ronnie served, oh, fan club. Ronnie serves with the Workforce Training and Community Education Division as the instructor and coordinator for the Early Childhood Education Program. Ronnie is very involved with her students and shows them the many facets of their responsibilities as an early childhood educator. She does a great job of involving her students in activities, professional development, and other aspects of the industry. One of Ronnie's students shared, Ronnie Wirtz goes above and beyond to help her students learn the material and to make connections in the early childhood field. Her dedication to her students shows in time spent helping them learn, encourage them to do their best, and teaching them life skills that extend beyond the classroom. Ronnie is always learning more about the field of early childhood in order to provide the most accurate and up-to-date information to her students. She shows empathy and understands that students face various other challenges which may affect their studies. Her passion for early childhood equips her students to touch the next generation and to make a positive impact for the future. Ronnie has served the college for 11 years. Please join me to recognize Ronnie Wirtz. Barton expects excellence from its faculty. Well over 200 members strong who facilitate teaching and learning at four campus locations, various outreach centers, school districts, and online. These five distinguished instructor recipients exemplify that excellence. Please once again join me to congratulate our 2023 distinguished instructors. And now, I call your attention to once again the enjoyment of the Hilltop Singers under the direction of Dr. Eric Foley. The group will perform Letting Go, which I believe Vice President Maddie talked about earlier this evening, a selection from the musical Jekyll and Hyde.
Thank you once again, Dr. Foley and our singers. To complete our individual special recognition this evening, Barton's Executive Director of Institutional Advancement, Lindsay Bogner, will present the Barton Foundation's 2023 Distinguished Service Award. Director Bogner. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Barton Community College Foundation, I am truly honored to be able to announce Earl and Judy Fox as the 2023 Serv Distinguished Service Award recipients. The Distinguished Service Award was created in 1981 to recognize individuals that have shown genuine regard for the Barton Community College Foundation and performed outstanding service to Barton Community College. Earl and Judy have been a part of the Barton family since 1969. They've had three seats reserved about right over there since this gym opened. And over the years and decades of support, they've attended hundreds of basketball games, theater productions, concerts, fundraisers, and other events. What started as a love of Cougar sports blossomed into a love of all things Barton as Judy took classes and completed the elementary education program at the age of 37, saying it was a God thing that she had a chance to go into a field she loved by attending Barton. I found out about an hour ago that one of her second grade students is graduating today. So James, congratulations. <laughs> After her retirement as a teacher in Great Bend, Judy served with distinction on the Foundation Board of Directors for four terms over 12 years and retired from the board last year. She is most proud of the scholarships offered to students and the projects the Foundation supports that inspire generosity in others. Over the years, the Foxes have watched students come and go, and for Earl, seeing that each and every student was welcomed and cared for as family here makes all the difference. He has also been a volunteer and donor to the Foundation for many years, even though he will claim he was only doing it to support Judy's efforts. Come on up. Judy's steadfast support of Barton and the Foundation and Earl's steadfast support of Judy's service have earned them the distinct honor of receiving the Distinguished Service Award. Throughout the years, Judy and Earl's service has made an indelible mark on programs throughout the college, across our campuses, and in the lives of thousands. The Foundation is honored to recognize them. Please join me in honoring Earl and Judy this evening as they accept the Distinguished Service Award in recognition to their service to our college. We just want to take a minute to thank the foundation for this wonderful award. Barton's been a part of our lives almost forever, long, since long before your parents were even born, probably. And there's my student down there on the very front row. <laughs> Makes me feel good to know that somebody went back to school like I did as an adult and got a degree. Anyway, we just want to say thank you and congratulations to all the graduates and good luck and wherever you end up, don't ever forget Barton. Thanks. Thank you, Director Bogner, and of course, many, many thanks to Judy and Earl Fox for many years of support for Barton. And now, we move on to what has brought us together this evening. Vice President Simmons and Board of Trustees Chair, Mr. Mike Johnson, will confer diplomas, certificates, and degrees. Following the conferring of these credentials, Developmental Education Instructor Abby Howe will present the certificate recipients and the graduates by name. Board of Trustees will award the certificates and diplomas, and Dr. Heilman will offer Barton's official congratulations. All right, it's time. Students, please rise. <laughs> Audience members, the students before you are candidates for the Kansas State High School Diploma the Associate of General Studies, the Associate of Applied Science, the Associate of Arts, the Associate of Science degree and or completion of a certificate program. 
As Vice President of Instruction for Barton Community College, I certify that these candidates have met the requirements for their respective diploma, associate degree, and or certificate program as set forth by the Kansas Board of Regents and have successfully completed their prescribed courses of study as determined by the faculty. Chairman Johnson, I recommend to you these candidates for graduation. Candidates, upon the recommendation of the faculty and staff of Barton Community College, I do hereby confer upon you the diplomas, degrees, and or certificates appropriate to the requirements you have met with all the rights, honors, responsibilities, and privileges appertaining thereto. Graduates, as an outward symbol of this educational milestone, you may now turn your tassels. Congratulations. Graduates, you may be seated. <laughs> the following our candidates for the Kansas High School Diploma, Sydney Green. Veronica Lara. Debbie Lynn. Keaton Mays. Neo Smith The following are candidates for certificate 1 John Kyler Business Management and Leadership Nia Baker Child Development James Chestnut Plumbing. Carla Garcia, Plumbing. Cooper McGlynn, Welding Technology. Jared McQuillam, Welding Technology. The following are candidates for Certificate 2, Ramona Rubio, Medical Coding. The following are candidates for Certificate 3, Jose Carrillo, nurse, Practical Nursing. Chandra Ehler, Practical Nursing. Sydney Johnson, Practical Nursing. Morgan Salabedra, Practical Nursing. The following are candidates for Associate in Arts, Riley Ann, with high honors. Telron Bradford. Connor Eastman with highest honors. Brooke Farmer with high honors. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read you. Isabel Gonzalez with honors. Abigail Ibera with honors. 
Sayaka Kawai with high honors. Emma King with high honors. Corey Lard with high honors. Brandon Lloyd. Sarah McMahon with high honors. Sarah Melhoff. Sofia Morales with honors. Tyson Nicholson. Lakin Pafford. Caden Procopio. Ashton Ramsey. Beatrice Risi with high honors. Jacob Souter. Caden Smith with high honors. Carter Smith with high honors. Lexi Dynas, Biz Agriculture Business Management with high honors. These are candidates for Associate in Applied Science. Austin Miller, Agriculture Business Management with high honors. JC Roth, Business Management and Leadership with high honors. Aylin Urias, Business Management and Leadership with honors. <laughs> Carla Usoro, Business Administrative Technology. <laughs> Priscilla Villarreal Galicia, Business Administrative Technology. Ashton Smith, Crop Protection with high honors. Megan Clemens, Medical Lab Technology, with high honors. <laughs> Megan Dismang, Medical Lab Technology. <laughs> Sharon Herndon, Medical Lab Technology. <laughs> Stacy Hewish, Medical Lab Technology. Sharia Loy, Medical Lab Technology. <laughs> Samantha Smith, Medical Lab Technology with high honors. <laughs> Jonah Clark, Natural Gas Transmission and Distribution Technology. <laughs> Adam Hardin, Networking Specialist with honors. Aaron Broxterman, paramedic. Bobby Dillon, paramedic with high honors. Brianna Drinkwater, paramedic. Colby Esam, paramedic. Megan Royer, paramedic, with honors. Tristan Satterwhite, paramedic, with honors. Joshua Schwanke, with highest honors. 
Bristol Swan, paramedic with high honors. Catherine Alnor, registered nursing with honors. Marissa Billingsley, registered nursing. Heather Brombach, registered nursing. Melanie Clemens, registered nursing. Asia Elliott, registered nursing. Tiana Ferris, registered nursing. Christopher Frambers, registered nursing with high honors. Rochelle Geek, registered nursing. Brianna Hearn, registered nursing. Marky Heston, registered nursing with honors. Abigail Herter, registered nursing. Janae Jacobs, registered nursing. Jenna Jeffrey, registered nursing with high honors. Paige Lippelt, registered nursing. Madison McElwain, registered nursing. Jared McFadden, registered nursing. Damaris Nieto, registered nursing. Amy Padilla, registered nursing. Lori Patterson, registered nursing. Brittany Fitzenmeyer, registered nursing. <laughs> Ashley Prescott, registered nursing with honors. <laughs> Jessica Runnels, registered nursing. <laughs> Kylie Sandy, registered nursing. Peyton Sassina, registered nursing. Taryn Sieg, registered nursing. Jenna Sinnott, registered nursing. Mandy Solko, registered nursing. Drake Steven, registered nursing. Marissa Stewart, registered nursing. Anna Souter, registered nursing. Anna True, registered nursing. Taylor Urban, registered nursing with honors. Brielle Vandervoort, registered nursing. Braulio Vargas, registered nursing. Kevin Woods, registered nursing. Valerie Ruiz, technical accounting specialist with high honors. The following are candidates in Associate in General Studies, Caden Baird. <laughs> Tayana Good. <laughs> Dawson Chavez. <laughs> Elizabeth Gonzalez. Angie Jones. Yay! 
Andrea Montag. Alicia Wheeler. Ella Adkin. Ella Adkin. Jaime Arianes with highest honors. Adriana Arras with honors. Jordan Avila with high honors. Kaylee Babcock with high honors. Stephen Baldwin. Walker Baliki. Joshua Ball with high honors. Taylor Barnes. Azul Barrios with high honors. Jonathan Beers with high honors. Kayla Beers with high honors. Valentina Bequette with honors. Caden Beaker with high honors. Haley Bottom DeBolt. Keandre Bonner. Okay. Kaylee Carrington. Whoa! Jasmine Carson. Whoa! Paige Cobb with honors. Brayden Kopp with high honors. <laughs> Dominique Koss. <laughs> Ireland Cotton. <laughs> Cadence Devine. Alistair Dick for coming with honors. <laughs> Kale Dobson with high honors. <laughs> Christopher Escalante. Brody Feist with honors. Malin Fletchall with high honors. <laughs> Skylar Fletcher. <laughs> Linda Franco with high honors. <laughs> Eli Fridley. Jimena Fuentes with high honors. Ashley Gilmore. Megan Godding with highest honors. Alondra Gomez. Grace Grandclair with honors. Tajay Grant with high honors. Kimberly Guerrero Padilla. Chelsea Hall. Michaela Jaden Howard.
all. Ellie Hutchinson with honors. Britannia Ingram. Trisha Johnson. Barnabas Kalaba with honors. Jacob Kennedy with honors. Olivia Kerr with high honors. Macy Kirk with high honors. Carolina Landeros. Effie Latham with high honors. Joel Lauritsen. Tom Lehman. McQuenna Lehrman with honors. Deborah Lowe with high honors. Morgan Myers with high honors. Taylor Moore. Austin Moore with honors. Jessica Morgan with high honors. Naya Morgan. Elijah Mosley. Kelsey Merle Ross. Abby Muth with high honors. Dominique Palmberg. Andrea Piedra Fernandez. Caden Pontius with high honors. Ryan Purnell. Anthony Reyes with honors. Callie Riley. Tyrus Riley. Fernando Rodriguez. Brandy Sander. Emma Sanders. Jonathan Santibanez Pizar. Shelly Smith. Tuesday Schmidt with honors. Shaylor Schremer. Co Schultz. Charlie Seifert with high honors. Ashlyn Shea with high honors. Lily Schubert with high honors. Addison Smith with high honors. Anastasia Stanton with high honors. Lillian Thomas with high honors. Mariah Thomas. 
Jordan Thornton with high honors. Cadence Urban with high honors. Leah Vendruff. Aiden Van Meter with honors. Mackenzie Weiss. Sebastia Vilas with high honors. Diamond Wiley. Sydney Williams. Isabel Wilms with high honors. Wow. The individual presentation of our graduates kind of amps up the air of celebration in our gym, doesn't it? And with that, we come to the conclusion of our ceremony and the time to send these graduates on their way. Once again, we sincerely thank you for joining with us tonight. To our graduates, we send you, with Barton's very best wishes for your future. We sincerely hope that you will take a piece of Barton with you out into the world, that you will be well, and that you will do good things. Please stand for the benediction and remain standing for the retirement of the colors. Pastor Andrews. On this very court, when a Cougar basketball player makes a three-pointer, the announcer um, says their name and the whole crowd says, four, three. Um, I would like to encourage you to consider that as you go your way in the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that you are loved so very much that there's a plan and purpose for each one of you and that he loves you so very much and so do so many here. Please go your way and be blessed by his love and mercy and grace. Thank you, Pastor Andrews. Color Guard, please retire the colors. Graduates, prepare to show us your celebration as Barton Community College proudly presents our 53rd graduating class, the class of 2023. Yeah.